All right, welcome. I want to welcome all my old supporters. I always appreciate you. I appreciate the people who leave comments and feedbacks. Everyone, I, I think I've always been able to respond. I might be limited, but I do appreciate you. I want to appreciate all my, um, recognize all my new subscribers. I appreciate you. Let's go over some house clean, cleaning. Um, this is my um, channel. I lost my first channel. Um, I do what the F I want. That's my thing. If I do one reading every 30,000 days, it's what Terry wants to do. Um, if I do, um, you know, art, if I can't sing in my art, I don't care. If I do food, if I, you know, whatever I want to do, travel, whatever I want to do. And I'm going to say this the whole summer because I notice in people, um, other tarot card readers comments, people go, if this is people who pay for their, um, you know, pay once a month. If they don't, um, um, give me a reading every day. Um, then we'll stop coming to their readings. I don't care if you gave me twenty dollars a month. That is not going to make me rich. Um, and actually, my tarot card reading is, is 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 three times that. And I had a successful website, um, and that was on sale. And so I don't have to prove myself to anyone. I do what I want to do. I don't think that you should compromise your gift. Um, and so I need to um, to rest one on ones on the clock to reflect um, because you don't want me to become robotic, right? You want me to you know um, and not be able and project. Right, and so I do that for me. So if this is a perfect time for you to exit and I sound harsh, I, I, I truly understand. Thank you. There's been people who've been rocking with me from day one. Hi, Lydia. and <clears throat> Hi, Nadia. I appreciate you. Um, um, so thank you so much. So let's get started. So this is on my spirit. Um, I'm back to uh, my working out. Um, and so, because I took, a, took a, a few days off. People hate to give you your flowers. So let's do some channeling. Um, God damn, station. Uh, people hate to give you your flowers and I'm channeling they don't want to give you credit for your achievements as men and women or for how you turned your failures into um, to success stories or how your accomplishments a lot of people overlook you the people who are drawn to this pile you could be a person who um, they didn't think they they could count they counted you down but you bounce back I'm channeling um, I also see people who are very very handsome very you know nice um, faces or bodies or something like that people don't want you to recognize or, or it could be intelligence or skill skills or crafts or creativity that you have or the way you express yourself or communicate people don't want to recognize that um we talking about a big census of people this is the power where people don't want you to know that you're pretty and handsome like you don't look in the mirror and see it every day or that you have a nice body or something like that or or that you or that you have leadership potential or you're very humorous or people like you and you're very nice people like to paint pictures of you want they want you to be as a certain person like you have to be mean or you know or he or she's not that handsome or they're not that cute or they're not that intelligent they're they're not that smart people don't want to give you your flowers people don't want to give you your um, um, recognize your achievement this is the power people are, are less likely to tell you congratulations and happy birthday or anything like that because they don't want you to feel good about yourself any kind of excitement anything that's going to um, stimulate you and make you feel good um, and be validated by your peers right which is nothing wrong with that like Oprah said we all want validation um, anything else um, anything that makes you happy um, and they see your greatness in you as men as women they see your greatness in you and um but they don't want you to see it and they don't want to say it so even if they know that you see so like if you moved away from people or you stopped dealing with people or something like that and they wonder why you keep elevating this because they they were suppressing you opp oppressing you they were being antagonistic they were talking about you they didn't want to see your greatness it was always there it wasn't nothing new it wasn't nothing new and i always give an example when i met this man in the summer and he was like you look different i'm in the damn gym shit <laughs> i'm in the gym <laughs> you don't know my style you don't know how i wear my makeup you don't know how i, I, I wear my when i don't wear makeup you know my hair stuff I'm in the gym and that's because and then you grow on people or like I didn't know you were like that you don't know me you got to get to know me you don't want to know me you only want to see me through your lens so those are just examples you can use it for whatever you want so we're gonna do this real quick why people hate to give you your flowers as men and women yeah y'all get what I'm saying right I didn't know she can talk and walk or she was smart or she can talk about this or he could talk about that you don't know me you don't know me have a nice time you look pretty See you tomorrow. Thank you for coming with me. Um, people hate to give you your flowers. People hate to give you your flowers. Why do people hate to give the, the collector their flowers? I don't get it. I think they give you your flowers or your congratulations because this talks about 
uh, communication, but it also talks in, about in, intentional and unintentional circumstances that happen in your life. I think they see it and they, my right foot is burning. And when other people recognize it, like this is, this is the people that, that energy gives, that they give you, don't want to give you your flowers. They have flip floppy energy. They have deep seated issues. I don't care if they're rich, um, um, you know, middle class, poor, whatever their backgrounds, religions, ethnic groups, uh, creeds or whatever, they get on bandwagons. They're more followers. And I think that when they get around other people and they see you blossoming and you growing, then they want to give you your flowers or congratulate you. But at first, I don't feel like they see it. So you have a lot of uh, uh, um, up and down, emotionally unstable people who pretend and put on um, personas um, like they're doing so great. So say, some, hypothetically, say somebody is rich or well adjusted and they got money or they're doing this and they look a certain way, or maybe they have have a body or something like that i can't think of something and they feel like why are you so happy as a man or woman because you know you out of shape you know what i mean you could look better than them or you're not or you maybe don't have the money they do maybe you do but they don't they feel like that they're the ones that are supposed to be important i can't use examples they're the ones that are supposed to be important and then you come around and this talks about this talks about walking and here comes some arrows coming um and then you have to get out you have to get the hell out the way and i feel like that's what you do you 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 have a shock factor about you as men and women and they hate to give you your flowers, but you get them anyway. You get them anyway. If you don't get them from them, you get them from other people. And then they want to um, recognize your worth. I don't know what I'm saying. Like some of y'all can have YouTube channels, Instagram, something like that. Went back to school, got your GED or got your own business. You know what I mean? Or you really realize that I don't need to, um, like I was talking about vanity. Vanity is like, you know, and you know, I have a, I have a thing with vanity. Um, you know, I look at my own accomplishments and I, my achievements. And I say that to say, thus, that was birthed out of people. Well, now. Other races, I'm not, and I'm not trying to be funny. White women, Asian, Hispanic, you know, Hispanic, they always say, you know, you're nice or whatever. But my own people wouldn't tell me, right? You know what I mean? Like God, like it's gonna take something away from you. And, I, and I've always heard, and I, I'm, 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 I'm fixated on looks because this is the only example I can use. And so I learned to recognize my own worth and my own beauty. And I don't, and I'm 57, and I don't, um, you know compare myself to other people i don't care i don't care if i'm in a whole room full of women with flat abs i, I don't care I, I feel like i i deserve to be there too and i feel like this is what this is what you do to people you recognize your own self your own achievements you know your own um you know um beauty or your handsomeness or your attractiveness or your own uh intelligence because a lot of y'all may tell you that you wasn't really smart or you weren't a good learner or you weren't really good in school and you probably excelled um you know better than other people you could have been very very easily triggered because you experienced a lot of emotional hurt psychological physical you know maybe bullying abuse trauma and they didn't allow you to be who you are because they didn't want you to see your greatness I could be here all day so why did um, they didn't want you to why don't they um I keep saying they want you to see your greatness a lot of you guys are very very accomplished now in your own right whether it's it's not and it's not compared to their accomplishments and I need you to get that right and that's what they did they didn't want you to see your um your greatness and they don't want to say it. they don't want to say they recognize that you're smart or that you give good advice or you're highly intelligent or you're gifted or you have some kind of gifts or something like that or you're very creative type men and women or you know how to get down and get back up i know how to get down and get back up they, they don't want to rec they don't want to recognize that why do people hate to give these men and women their flowers i just use my examples because i don't want anybody to be politically correct and get offended why do people hate to give you their flowers some of you guys might have had a past as a fuck boy fuck girl energy some of y'all could be very feisty type men and women um maybe they seem you seem unbalanced a little emotionally unstable so it was more easier to paint that picture of i oh aha i think this is how they are or who you used to be right because ain't nobody gonna behold beholding you to no past right so even if you were a promiscuous type man or woman or you would just do things your way or you were very um you know feisty you know what i mean you know and and, and very charming something like that they kind of dwell dwell on that and so they so they could use that against you and then some of them could have been you could have been none of that some of them just wanted to charm you use you take advantage of you van, van, advantage of you and they didn't want you to sit on the throne of maybe like in a relationship or you know maybe some kind of business thing they wanted you to be to worship them right they just want to be charming they needed to be charming they needed the attention seeking that's all i can say that's hard so people don't want to give you their flowers because they feel like there's not enough room at the table my dad used to tell me he was a street man everybody can eat Everybody, once people can get that concept, there's 8 billion people on the planet, get your target market. Everybody can eat, but I feel like the men and women that you come in contact with, whether it's co-workers, family, friends, siblings, um, you know, whatever, you know, whatever, it's people you just met, they feel like it's not enough room for you at the table because they have to be seen. 
I could be wrong. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. People hate to give you your flowers. This is a hot topic I've never done. I don't even, even, I don't even know if it's a topic, but it was on my spirit. Why do they hate to, why do they hate to give you your flowers? Because they play both sides. Because they play both sides. Like there's people who like you, there's people who don't. And these are people who are not well balanced. They don't know how to lead and say, you know what? This is the kind of man and woman I, they are. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give them credit for their achievements, their accomplishments. You know, congratulations, happy birthday. I ain't, I don't have a problem telling him or her that I'm glad that their business is successful, or they came a long way, or they got their GED, or they turned their life around, or something like that, or they're highly intelligent, or attractive, or beautiful, or handsome. Um, you know, or very nice or go getters like, you know, but you're dealing with people who play both sides. They play both sides. Right. And depending on the way the wind blow, because if you're walking and we just having a nice time, we're walking on uncharted um, territory, nice terrain, or we just going out for a nice walk. You got to get the hell out of the way because here comes the, um, the, um, you know, the arrows, the wands, the rods, um, um, and, and, and they, and, and, and then they want to get on the bandwagon because you figure shit out. You figure shit out where I feel like these people don't, they have a hard time, um, figuring stuff out and people recognize that people recognize that gift in you. I'm going off on a tangent, how you through adversity, through circumstances, through change, changes, through events, hard times, good times, ups and downs, people slandering your name, whatever preconceptions, you still stand strong. Even if that, even if that, um, that foundation was faulty as men and women, some, somehow you figured out how to make it stabilize where people have to respect you. You know, and this is what these people do, but they, they play, they, they still, they still play both sides and they don't want, they don't want to give you your flowers. They don't want to give you your flowers, depending on like, cause men, if people talk about you or don't like you, and this could be love, it could be whatever. Um, they like to play both sides, so they don't want to give you your their flowers. There's a lot of jealousy and envy. Y'all gonna let me know? There's a lot of you get a lot of people jealous and envy. If you, I don't care if you got one leg and one big toe, and one toe, you got one leg and one toe. You ain't got fingers. You ain't even got toes. You you got one big toe. People are jealous of you, and they're envious of you, and they don't want you to see your greatness in your light, right? And so they can't give you your flowers. Because if I deliver these flowers to this man or woman, then they're gonna think I like them. Then they're gonna think I love them. Then they're gonna think I respect them. I'm trying to cover love, friends, family, coworkers, or acknowledge your accomplishments like at work or your achievements or the little things you do. Then they're gonna want to take my job, take my man, my husband, or they think we're gonna have a relationship, or they're taking my friends, or they're gonna take my spotlight that attention I get I can't do that or they're gonna think that they think that they're better than me or look better than me and and more handsome than me and prettier than me and the people looking in the funny thing about this if if you are attractive you already know it if you are highly intelligent and smart and you figure shit out you already know it and they know that you know that you're greatness but they they don't want you to say it they don't want you to broadcast and they definitely don't want you to show it right because as long as they can um, paint you a certain way they're happy and they don't want to give you your flowers I could be wrong. Oh, I'm almost done. People hate to give you your flowers. Why? And they talk about you a lot. They like to backstab you. They or in your face, they pretend that they give you your flowers, and then they could they could uh, repossess them thing <laughs> in, in the next minute. People hate to give you your flowers. Why? Because you're very creative. You're very creative. This is a, a, a apprentice. If you're down and you're out, or you know, I mean, if you dealt with some things in your life, they know as men and women that you're gonna figure it out. This is a person that gets up under somebody, apprentice, if you will, and they learn something new, right? Um, that's the pinnacle. Some of you guys could be Tauruses, Capricorns, and uh, what is that, Virgos? And what is the wands? I don't know, y'all. Can't think. But at the end of the day, um, just learn it like that. But at the end of the day, they know that if they give you one coin. You're going to turn it into many. You got that Jesus thing on you. <laughs> you're going to take one fish. What is it? Two fish or whatever. Two fish, three fish, blue fish, four, whatever. You're going to turn it into thousands and loaves of bread. You know, I'm just having fun. They know that as men and women. So once you realize your your, you, how beautiful you are or how you're aging or how smart you are at 18 and 20 or you know what I mean or how handsome you are you know at, you know uh, growing older gracefully or 18 or 20 or how you can um, lose a job and get back up or how you can you get the tools to have your own business be an entrepreneur or how you can get out of um, you know take your medication get, you know maybe you're dealing with mental um, health issues maybe you you know you suffered some kind of um, mental breakdown that it doesn't have to be that deep or maybe you've lost some things you know money finances relationships or something like that they know that if they give you one pinnacle 
you know, one start, one compliment, you know, one one reassurance, one encouragement and support, you gone. You gone, because this talks about once this apprentice gets up under somebody, they ain't gonna like it, but once they master it, then they um then they um end up having their own business or doing their own thing. And why I say this energy with this card, I get it, because once you realize how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, it's not physical and superficial and stuff like that. I'm talking inner beauty too. They real it could be out outer too. They realize that now you know your worth and your value, so you don't have to settle for broken um uh, um toxic people, places, and things, or low vibrational people, or you know what I mean, or you. Don't have to stay in dead in jobs or careers you know what i mean or you don't got to stay around people who don't want you to be there because now you realize i am the party the party don't start till i, till I walk in right you know what i'm saying y'all can come early y'all can do that um i'm coming late making the grand interest i was here on time and all you can come in after me whenever time i come is when the party start right i'm using it as an example i don't party like that but th this is what this person knows they know once you get your own business or get a promotion or you speak up for yourself or you take up for yourself um you give yourself flowers this is the power you give yourself flowers so this is why people hate to give you flowers because they feel like you take that one flower and you get a whole flower garden look at that and it becomes a button abundant shit you get a flower shop shit a whole floral shop people hate to give you your flowers they don't want to give you credit for shit healing you've done your healing they don't want you to heal they want you to stay sick they want you to stay broken they don't want you to stay saved they want you to stay in the past they don't want you to pour out the trauma you know the um, temptation the lust the grief the hurt the pain the deception um you know get in where you fit in whether it was done to you you did it to somebody or you know whatever or you know whatever or the brokenness or the or ancestral patterns of behavior that no longer serve you you're breaking generational patterns of behavior they don't want that they don't want you to pour out their emotion they like when you're reactionary they don't want you to be pro they like when you you know gossip or instigate or antagonistic or they or you know what i mean they don't want you to be pro protagonistic or they like when people talk about you and hurt you and it affects you and you're um codependent so they can't give you your flowers if they even give you your flowers and recognize the change and the healing and awakening you did as a man and woman oh that's gonna that's gonna be terrible that's gonna be, they can't do that if they tell you that you're handsome you're beautiful you're attractive or you are aging oh then that makes them look in the mirror and go what am i doing wrong what am i why am i not having my business why am i not not moving forward why am i not leading you know why don't i recognize my worth you know what i'm saying they can't they can't give you your flower it's like it's can't it's written in i can't give you your flowers by law y'all it's a book to this shit it's a comprehensive manual for these low vibrational people you make sure you don't tell him and her they're handsome or they're pretty make sure you don't tell them they're aging well make sure you don't tell them congratulations or happy birthday you can't do that don't you recognize her that she got her own business or she went back to school and got her ged or she's a really good cna or she's very caring and loving or he uh, got you know or, or she was incarcerated she turned her, her life around don't you recognize that don't you recognize that that man could take a dollar and um I, um you how you say it? take a dollar get a some make a dollar out of 15 cent and survive and change his life around or he's very attractive or something don't you give them their flowers they can't have that don't you even let this man or woman know that they that they attract the people at that level Remember, you might can't get that man or woman that you thought you wanted or, or maybe that you already have or whatever but they know that once you you find out these men and women really love you and they really care about you and they admire you and they appreciate you and you, your achievements then they know that you can have any man or woman that you want right because beauty's in the eye of, um, uh, um, beholder and please don't let them know about their achievements and their accomplishments because i don't want them to get the big head we can't give them their um, flowers not knowing some of them do know that your struggle some of them know your struggle but they so damn selfish that they don't even want to recognize your achievements or your accomplishments right and some of you guys were you know on your way to success and you were successful and, and they were just jealous because you you happened to do everything that you said you were you were going to do or that you were geared to do or you were groomed to do or you were raised to do right they don't want to recognize that right because that's, that's that's giving you your flowers and they're hating on that some of you have rags to riches story riches to rags some of you have some very um traumatic stories some brokenhearted stories some you know some you know um you know some testimonies and they don't even want to recognize and give you your flowers for that because it's too much as the, the older people used to say of doing right they, they don't want to do right they, they they have to be able to ride the fence right okay people hate to give you your flowers they don't want to give you credit for shit they like to overlook you they hate the way you back, bounce back and they don't want you to know your worth anything else why people hate to give um, the collector their flowers i could be wrong good gosh oh my why do people hate to give the collectors their flowers 
because you're a great manifester, because they play both sides, two sides, because if you know that you can have options in careers and creativity or love, this is talked about too, then, then the sky's the limit, then they can't put that, they can't hold you and control you, you get what I'm saying, or make you feel inferior, right? So they have to play you back and forth, and they can't play those games with you. Once you realize that you can stabilize your life, and then I'm worth more, I can quit this job, I can start my own business, or I can walk into the office and get a promotion, or I can speak up or I don't have to allow people to bully me or I don't have to take psychological mental physical spiritual um sexual abuse or you know what I'm saying I could be seen once you realize just flip floppy energy once you get balance and um and they and they tell you you know you did good and you know or whatever and, and you know what I'm saying and, and, and or whatever how your flower how they give you your flowers whatever your need is right you know what I'm saying then they realize that you're that great manifester as men and women this is the most powerful card in the day look at all the look at he got the or she she got the um wands the pinnacles, um, coins, the chalice, love, that's emotions, the sword, the sword of truth, um, you know what I'm saying, um, um, and uh, other stuff, and the light, you know what I'm saying, um, so you're, so, and you're that light bringer, you can manifest whatever you want, so once they tell you, they, this is how they feel in their psyche, right, because some of y'all, they have had y'all depressed, despondent, despair, disappointed. Some of y'all been in broken relationships and very, very codependent, very needy, um, you know, heartbroken, devastated by sibling, co-worker, family, friends, rivalry, talking about your perception. Some of y'all been in broken relationships where you felt that you have to stay. And you just got yourself together as men and women or in work environments where they really didn't appreciate your accomplishments and achievements. Or you've been down on skip road. I'm just using it. This is all symbolism. You know what I mean? Where you really picked yourself up where they thought you was down and out and crazy and cuckoo and shit. You turn your life around some of y'all did look really bad and you were aging bad you changed your diet you moved away from talk to people places and things you you don't know what happened but you you know your skin is blowing and you look good and your hair is growing or you're wearing cute little short haircuts or you look good with your bald head and your goatee you get what i'm saying like somewhere something some transformations happen you refocused your life you took your wounds and you made them to um you know they, they became your knowledge they became your guide and they don't want to not acknowledge that they don't want to give you your flowers they don't want to give you the credit that you deserve and like i said some of you guys are very very successful everybody doesn't have a, a struggle story a sign story a broken story and they still don't want to give you your flowers because they can't they can't let you think that you're better than them or you're more superior or or, or them or you're smarter than them or you look better or you know you where you live or you know or even dance someone here dance or cook something like that they, they can't they can't right anything else you want more part why people hate to give you your flowers King of what? A lot of y'all is sexy as hell. Woo! Like, you know what? Because of so much hormone and energy and promiscuous and, and sex and, um, you know, and all of that and very attractive. I think men and women are, I think you're very, very attractive. And they hate to tell you because you, they may feel like you're going to take their husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, significant other. Or, you know, maybe you, maybe they feel like you're going to be a friend of benefits. Somewhere they feel like you're going to take their position, that position of being very ambitious. You know what I'm saying? You know, in control. I can handle shit and I look good doing this shit. Move out the way. Move out the way. You know what I'm saying? I can do it. And they don't want you to know your words. And not only are you very smart, because the King of Wands is very smart, ambitious, very confident very confident they don't want you to get conceited and vainful or see your worth or have you actually really looked in the mirror as a man or a woman it don't even have to be physical look at you can have that it you know that something about you as men and women that you do it for people and they don't want you to realize the magnitude of that energy so no way they're gonna tell you that you look good hell no hell no you're walking in the boardroom or you know maybe you're a plumber or construction worker or you do nails you got an in instagram or a youtube channel or you know you're on facebook or the way you talk is so sad sexy or or the way you talk you just talk the way you talk and it just turns men and women on you know because you stimulate something that was dormant and you get them awakenings and stuff they don't want you to realize that they don't want to give you your flowers for that for the king of wands let me see this card yeah yeah a lot of them feel sorry and they want an opportunity with you in a new beginning i think there's a lot of water under the bridge i don't know um because a lot of them misjudge you but that's on a side note so why don't they want to give you your flowers some of them do have some regret let's kick this um, why don't these people want to give you your flowers? <clears throat> why don't these people want to give um, the collective their flowers? And I could be wrong. Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love, encouragement, support. Why don't these people want to give you your flowers? I'm thirsty. Why don't 
Oh God, because look at the victory. That's all I see is victory. Because they, they don't want you to be joyful. They don't want you to be victor, victorious. They don't want you to be successful. These are a dollar cards from the dollar store and put some words on it. Right, and you're very passionate. And this says defeat your enemies, your competition, supremacy, everything, conquest, mastering, um, results, game over, you know, game match, success. Like I said, this is a, people look up to you, people parade you. They don't want you, you're dimming their light. These are people who are attention seeking. I don't care, like I said, I don't care what they race, their creed, their religious beliefs, their backgrounds, um, wealthy, rich, poor, whatever. If, if they're in the front or if they're in the back, they don't want you to be, they don't, they, they, out of anybody that they've ever met, they can't let you get your flowers because you're going to be victorious. That light's going to shine, that joy, that success. If they put you in competition, there's no competition. Once you realize that there was never no competition, they hate that. You know, your conquerors, your conquest, right? That supremacy. Remember I said they talk about the inferiority. They need you to be inferior to these people. They need you to be inferior. And plus you master stuff. Remember I said that. You, you will master it. You will learn it. You know what I'm saying? You know? And then this game over, match. And then plus you can know how to match them and you could be very, very successful. So they don't want it. And the Six of Passion, um, which is the Six of Wands, talks about people looking up to you, people admiring you. But it also talks about a backstory. And the backstory is you didn't ask to be, um, you didn't ask to have good genes, right? You didn't ask to be an advocate and speak out against, um, you know, civil rights or phys physical, mental, spiritual, or sexual abuse. You didn't ask to, um, um, you know, Become in leadership positions. This is hypothetically. I don't know y'all. You didn't ask to go back to school. Something happened. You needed to, right? Next thing you know, I know how to do coding. I can't help it. I can do statistics. You get. I'm just making shit up. You know what I mean? You didn't ask to start your own band. You, you had a big ego. You kicked me out. I started my own band. It's successful. It's that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You didn't ask to, um, you know what I mean, um, for this and that. And this is what this is the backstory. I'm just giving examples. My right foot is burning, and they they don't want you to realize the magnitude of the um of what you have as a man or woman how you master it so they can't they can't they can't allow you to have your flowers to see your worth this basically is seeing your worth your value they're jealous and they're very envious it should have been a jealous and envious um um name because that's what it is why these people don't want to see your worth oh well this is the king of um oh this is the king of passion again god you must be very attractive men and women Wow. It came upside down, though, because it's the same thing. They want to be domineering. They want to control you. That's it. They want to be domineering, and they want to control. And that's what it's all about. They have to be better than you, feel better than you. It does something to this man or woman because you guys are leaders. You could be business owners. You could demand and command respect when you're walking around. You might not even say shit. You're that boss. You're people who lead. And this is a very attractive pig. It's the King of Wands. I just missed the King of Wands, but I was telling you how the King of Wands is probably very, very attractive. They don't need you to see your worth. They are, and they came upside down, so they're very domineering type people. They're very hypocritical. They have to be superior. Superior. They have to be in control, and there's no way you're going to take this attention from them. I wouldn't be surprised if this is people you even like somebody or love somebody or crushing on somebody, and this woman and man make, make you feel like you're competition with them. I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to like you. I'm trying to get to know you. Ain't no competition. Like I said, when you win I win where everybody win not this man or woman they have to have the light focus on them whether it's work environment friends family whatever they can't they have to out of if they have to pick on somebody your conversation piece you're that dump truck I talk about in my readings when I lost my channel they like to dump their garbage and they project and shit on you so there's no way after all that um, 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 they can give you your flowers you ever meet somebody that their energy is so bad that every time you come around they try to make it seem like it's you and when you remove yourself you go but you're the problem you're the problem <laughs> you're the, everywhere you go there's a problem you can't hold a job you can't hold friends you have relationships um different um relationships people come and, and go on you don't have any stability you're the one always angry i hope i'm trying to cover people you know what i'm saying you're always talking about me as a man or woman but you're the problem but as long as you're there they can take those things well you remember he did this or remember she did that or the way they perceived you to be whether you get triggered or you were just upset or you were angry or maybe you, you stormed out one time or maybe you, you know told somebody off or cut somebody um, out or maybe you didn't look good at that time because sometimes our looks go up and down, you know, or maybe you were, you know, ugly duck and became a swan or maybe you were very beautiful and handsome men and they made you feel insecure and so you kind of walk with your head down and you didn't want to be too pretty and too handsome because you wanted to make them feel comfortable. Well, they don't, I'm just trying to name stuff. Or maybe you're very, you know, you're very um, um, highly intellectual. You know how to have your own business or you know how to go, you know, do your own work or your own 
own job or your creativity. They didn't want you to see that. They needed to be in control and they were very, very domineering. Give you your last card. Yeah, so this card, I can't give you your flowers because you got people who want all the attention or they need somebody, they need that, um, they need somebody to step on and make them feel good. And it could be relatives, siblings, it could be enemies. Why people hate to give um, the collectors their flowers? I could be wrong. Why people hate to give the collectors their flowers? Ooh. This is the Two of Swords, and this is the Six of Swords. Some of y'all, these people could be long distance. You could be in no contact. It could be um, they have a lot of chaos and confusion in their life. Maybe you relocated. Maybe you moved. Maybe um, you like new atmosphere, new settings. Maybe you like a lot of peace because this is the Six of Swords. And I got on here a lot of moving, travel, um, get moving, new atmosphere, um, you know, relocated. So they could want to give you your flowers because you, you picked up, you know, you could have moved around the block. You could have blocked, got a new number. Not a new number, not answer your phone regularly. You could have moved or whatever. They can't control you. It just It's basically they can't control you. They needed you to be in that chaos and that drama and that conflict, right? And so they can't say, you know, I'm glad you moved or you took a stand or you spoke up or you left this environment. They can't They can't recognize you. They can't give you the credit you deserve or because that if, 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 you, if you did that, then that means that you really didn't need them. See, when you were around them, or you could still be in that environment, they felt like, and we just use me. Um, you know, Terry needs us. She has to be there. You know, these are all her relatives. We are her friends. No, shit, my mom, dad got three, four sides. <laughs> and anyway, everybody say blood is thicker than water. People say water. You meet people who are even more, um, could be water. It's, it, you know, it, it, it gives you more love than your blood, right? We're, we're, we're breaking these old um, program ways of thinking, right? Because 8 billion people on the planet. I learned to get in where I fit in. Fuck you, eight plus adult material and language. Before you report me, make sure you realize that's a word that everybody uses on here. And this is what they might want you to say in that confusion, that chaos, that drama. They wanted to keep recycling and you got moving and you got away from that, right? So that they can't tell you that you did the right thing because then that says that, that we were the problem. You left us right during that mess. I bet you you can look on Facebook, Instagram, find all your friends. It, either they're aging. I always say age because I'm 50, right? Or they are they still in the same mess. <laughs> same mess, same drama, same lifestyle. And that's all they talk about is gossip with somebody else doing. I don't even entertain that shit. I don't care what shit, who repossess, what, who, how, who. Please don't bring me that shit. Don't bring me that shit. And y'all moved away from that drama because they know that you like peace. So they can't give you that. They, this, 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 oh, this is peace. Isolation, calm, order in the life of chaos um, or your circumstance. You like quietness. Um, what is that? Uh, privacy, solitude, retirement, seclusion, peace. This is Two of Swords. Two of Swords talks about um, different visions, different missions, different directions. You could be opposite type people, different religions, beliefs, height. It could be anything opposite or whatever, anything like that. And if they gave you your flowers and they would admit that, let's just move with tarot cards, right? And I used to be a Christian. I practice that a lot of stuff, but I practice a lot of stuff, right? Um, I'm into this Hindu stuff now and the mantras and stuff. Last year, I like everything. I call on everybody, <laughs> so I don't have to get myself, um, you know. Um, so, uh, locked down, and that's what they want. They, if, if they give you your flowers, then they go, Well, oh, well, she's not a Satan worshiper doing tarot cards, you no, know, because Christians are the only way you can do it, or Muslims are the only way to do it. You get it? So, if they gave you your flowers and they recognize that you do have a spiritual gift, I said, We're using me, you know what I'm saying, or you're a psychic, or you're a C, or or that you're you know, or that you're very attractive, you're beautiful, then it takes away from the their beliefs, but they don't realize that you're that it doesn't take away from anything, it's just an acknowledgement of your peers to recognize your achievements and your accomplishments. It shows appreciation, it shows that they're not jealous, and it's not they're not envious, or they're not trying to hold you down but they can't do that they can't do that they refuse to give you their flowers because it means that there's some they feel like it means that there's something wrong with me and some of them there is some of them there is because some of them are still programmed they're still um in um you know click mentality per, um, you know gossiping perceived notions they still hurting and causing people psychological mental physical emotional praying whether it's love family friends co-workers and that makes them look at a reflection of their self and they can't have that and then some of them some of them at the, at the crossroads and they have changed and they've done their healing, but they got one foot in and one foot out. The Bible talks about you can't be lukewarm. Forget the Bible, you know, out of respect for the Bible, for people who are Christians. But 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 let's just talk about 
just reality. You can't have one foot um, dealing with these people who don't like me, and then you're trying to deal with me, and then you you know you're going back and you're telling my business or something like that. Well, you got people at the crossroads roads going. This man or woman has changed their life around, or they got some accomplishments and achievements, or he or she is very handsome and beautiful, or intellectual, or you know they're very kind, or they're goal getters, or they're leaders, or they went from rags to riches, or they were homeless, or living in a car, or they turned. You get, I'm just saying, giving you your flowers, and they want to, but they're being put, and they want to. They want to. They see. They see what they they should do, but they won't because they have a fear. They operate out of fear of what people think, and maybe it might take something away from me if I'm explaining that right. Let me get your last cards. Why do people hate to give um, the collective their flowers? Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love and courage and support because it makes them see their self. And why do people hate to um, give get the collective their flowers? Shit, y'all see that shit spin? Nine of hazards. You, you guys are very independent type men and women. Very prosperous. You figure shit out. You're very independent. You're not codependent and confident. Confidence, independent. You figure shit out is what I channel and prosperity. Those are the words I wrote. I said those to you. And that's what they hate. They can't control you. So that's the summation. They can't control you. They don't want you to realize how confident, how valued, how instrumental you are to yourself and to others and to society and how, um, how you figure stuff out. They need you to want them, to worship them, to depend on them. They, if you ever realize your worth and they gave you your flowers, then you would surpass them and they don't want that. But what they don't re recognize, which they do they know you've seen your greatness a lot of you seen your greatness and you it was always there it was suppressed for whatever reason like you could have experienced a lot of you know trauma or people hurt you or something like that but you had to grow as men and women you had to heal and once you got into that full that little boy or little girl or adolescent that was wounded once you start healing that you was like oh shit i got a lot of power i'm not that same man or woman little boy little girl i'm not wounded anymore i see my greatness and they didn't want you they don't want to say it to you and they didn't want you to see it and that could be for love whatever and then plus you figure stuff out they wanted to figure stuff out they wanted to control everything and so this is why they don't give you your flowers because they're jealous they're envious and they they're attention seeking or, or it makes them look at their self and they may have to do some changes that they don't want to change because they're comfortable in complacency or low vibration later